everybody. My name is John the Novadia. I am very excited to be here today. I am one of three founders of XLab. XLab is developing a virtual reality competitive shooter and it has organically evolved into what everybody is calling the metaverse today. But we have the metaverse in VR and we are very excited. So I'm gonna show you a few really cool videos and get a little bit excited. Like this is supposed to be fun, right? Like everyone here is supposed to be a community, right? Thank you, Carlos, I love you. So before I show the first video, I wanna do something that I like to do because someone did it in NFT NYC and it changed my life with some beautiful connections. The whole point of this thing is for friendship and community. So do me one quick favor, look to the left, look to the right. If you don't know somebody, introduce yourself, get a contact from each other because we're all gonna be connected by one or two degrees of separation. And I think the whole point of NFTs is community, right? So very excited, make some friends. And then Chris, uh, let's cue up the, uh, the gameplay trailer. First bodyguard. They like posting somebody up right up on this corner. There you go. All right, somebody here. Oh, around the corner. Nice. <laughs> He's dead. Good Why kill. Right. <laughs> Drew, I don't see anybody yet. I'm looking. All right, I'm going. Okay, what? Yeah, nobody right. here. Wait, what? Flip it. Post it up. Oh, uh, somebody down long. Down long. I got it. Nice, no. he's down. Wait, what color sequence do I go in? Uh, yellow to pink. Scanning Arthur. There's one on short. One on long. Alright. Long in the hole. There's one here. There's one on short. Oh, shit. No, play it safe. Play it safe. You gotta Time. play it. You gotta wait for them to try to beat Easy. Right, if they were smart, they would have tried to pin you down and then at the same time. I don't stand. Nice. nice, holy cow, you killed it. Thank you. Um, that is our gameplay trailer. Ever since I was a kid, I was obsessed with video games. The number one reason why I love video games so much, other than whooping ass all day online was making friends. It's all about friendship. Nowadays, people are obsessed with not only just playing games, but socializing. That's why all these MMORPGs and games that allow you to be social, it's really starting to connect people. So what ended up happening is we set out to be the number one competitive VR esports shooter, which we currently are doing. Very happy about that. But what ended up happening organically is our community members inside of this VR metaverse, they started hanging out and spending more time inside of these virtual homes that we built for them as kind of like a gamer's lobby. And then we slowly started realizing Virtual reality and gaming, it's a first class social experience. So first I said, let's put a chess board in there because I like chess. We started seeing the users go crazy, spending dozens of hours playing chess. We added arts and craft station, we added meditation, we added fitness, we added mini games. We started adding all these things where now users, they have their virtual home. They can do whatever they want in it. They can design things, they can build things, they can hang out with their friends, watch movies. It's so exciting. And Cue up the Veil social video. So this is the second phase of XLab. I'm taking you through a journey of history. Competitive shooter, social, game, and NFT's bro. next. Yeah, GG. The headshot though. 100% luck. Bro, no shot. You know what? 1v1 to me in the armory. All right, bet, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, gonna... You make a friend, you get this little feeling like they'll be your friend forever. Friends are there being kind and being there for you. When I'm around my friends, Metaverse I feel friends. safe, good, and cared about. As All Winnie the Pooh once said, a friend is one of the nicest things you can ever have, one of the best things you can ever be. So go out there, make some friends. I promise you will feel good in your mind and in your heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.
thing. And we're still a shooter game, by the way. So we started off as a competitive shooter. Virtual reality technology allowed us to create these friendships, these bonds. We decided to listen to the community and start adding all these social features. So we then introduced Veil Social. And all of a sudden, the NFT craze popped up. And I'm an old crypto guy. I was in the ICO days. I uh, left it a quite some time ago. When NFTs came around, I was, I'll be the first to admit, I was a skeptic. I was like, this is ridiculous. It's a scam. Profile picture selling for millions of dollars. It makes absolutely no sense. And I was also under stress focusing on my company, making sure we didn't go bankrupt, which we were no longer bankrupt. Um, what ended up happening is I realized what the power of NFT is on the community side. When you're buying into an NFT, you're not buying a profile picture. You're buying into a members club, into a community, into people that think the same as you. And that is priceless. And that's why these prices seem so crazy. It's because you're buying into your people, right? Whatever that may be. When I understood that, it allowed me to dive deeper. After I dived deeper, I started realizing all the different utility and use cases with the technology, apart from just being able to be in a group of friends. And that's what got me thinking, what can I do with NFTs inside of virtual reality, inside of the metaverse? And I will show you a video, but not yet. I will talk about it first. So I'm obsessed with Pokemon. My first idea was Pokemon in VR, right? Like, how can we do this? So we took our game Veil. We created something called Valians. They essentially are NFTs that are a profile picture, but when you're inside of virtual reality, you have a fully interactable 3D VR asset pet called a Valian. I'll show you a video right after. The Valian, you can pet it, you can play with it, you can throw things at it, you can battle them, you can do a bunch of things with them, think Pokemon and VR. I wanted to push the boundaries of what utilities could be. Any, is anyone here a gamer? Show of hands, anybody games here? I'm curious? Okay, cool. So everyone knows the new business model, right? You buy, you get a game for free. After you get the game for free, you buy a battle pass, they give you items. What happens is the new game comes out a year later, all of that's gone, it's worthless, it sucks. You invest hundreds of dollars, hundreds of hours into games, all of those digital assets that you thought were yours, they're completely obsolete or worthless or you lose the cartridge if it was an old school cartridge game, right? So I thought to myself, why not treat our community that purchases these NFTs as loyal community members? So we decided to treat it like a battle pass. Not only do you have a VR pet, we're gonna treat it like a battle pass. We're gonna airdrop exclusive in-game items to our early adopters and supporters. The third thing is I went to NFT NYC and I saw the power of these communities meeting in person and talking because for the first time, these people were having a face-to-face. -face. They were having mannerisms, they were moving around, like they were really connecting in real life. Before that, it was Discord, it was Telegram, it was WhatsApp, it's text. We're in 2021, text is over. Zoom, next step, what about VR? So I thought to myself, why not build a social club in VR for all of our NFT holders? Everyone was obsessed with it. That is the third utility that we were adding. We were building something called Veil Citadel, where with a $300 piece of hardware, you can now enter and hang out. The joke I made when I was uh, at a long line, a few hour line, which I didn't even get in, I'm not gonna say the name of it, I realized no one should ever have to wait in a line to get in a club again. So that made me very excited. And the fourth thing is we have been able to partner with the top VR studio for true interoperability. We are going to allow our assets, all our NFTs, to also be inside of their game, and we hope that we can start getting other indie developers on board. Um, now I'm going to uh, show the video. Show the Valiant video now. My dream of Pokemon in VR has finally happened 20 years later. I am very excited about it. Um, I'm just very excited. We have our drop happening. I have to show I'm up here, right? I have the drop happening today at 4 p.m. Eastern. 
we are doing an auction mechanic that I personally have never seen been done before. So I'm officially going to be a genius or I'm going to be completely crazy. I'll only find out after today. So I'm going to have some people in my team hand out some flyers with a fun QR code on it. You can take a look at the website, take a look at the auction. We have a lot of fun stuff in there. And I hope that you join our journey of an open, borderless metaverse where users can actually own their items and are no longer confined to their platforms that they got invested into with the sunk cost. We want people to be able to do whatever they want in the metaverse. Thank you so much. I have a minute left to shill. I love Mayor Suarez, I love Moisha Mana, I love everybody in Miami, Michelle Abs is amazing, my two Ray Abs here are great, and every single person here is so awesome. I want some more energy, like, I know it's halfway through the day, I appreciate it. The last minute that I have, I will give to you guys, get someone's contact. Someone did this in NFT NYC, they said, everybody give a hug to the left, to the right. I got two numbers from guys, no idea who they are, they just... They did something very beautiful for me, very unexpected, and now I consider them family. Make a new friend today. This is all it's all about, right? So thank you very much. I appreciate your time. And now we're going to have a panel with some awesome people in gaming and NFTs. And I'm so hyped about that. Thank you so much, everybody.